everybody, it's Kathy and welcome to today's workout. So today is a cardio strength stack workout. Now a private group of mine is familiar with this sequence and it is called the Holiday Hustle Sculpt Ch uh, Stack Challenge. So what it was, was for six weeks I gave you a uh, two exercises and you added them on for six weeks. So this would be the grand finale full body workout. So it was a workout builder. Every week you tacked on two exercises to the previous workout. Just a little something to get your body moving during the holidays. So today is the grand finale. It is all the exercises put together in a strong stack workout. So what you're gonna need is a couple of sets of weights. I've got anywhere from 12s to 15s today. The workload is 40 seconds of work, you have 10 seconds of recovery in between the exercises, and after each block, you'll have 20 seconds of recovery while I explain the next two exercises. All right, so it's gonna be kind of fast and furious, um, and there's a lot of variety, and it's going to build, okay? I haven't done the whole workout in entirety by myself, so I'm not even sure how this is gonna work out, but the, the, the workout, the exercises in the beginning of the stack are the ones you're gonna be repeating the most. And then towards the end, you will repeat them less. All right, so if you're really ambitious, you can even do the workout in reverse. Ha, doubt it. But anyway, let's get started with, we have a three minute warm up. that is it. And then we're gonna go right into the workout because the workout's gonna warm you up as you go. All right, so we're gonna start with a squat, jack knee. All right, she's gonna give me a jumping jack arm, the squat with the knee. We're going for a minute here. So in the doses of exercises, there will be one more cardio-based and one more strength-based. Sink down, lift up, it's those arms, 30 seconds. Job. You can start hearing that heart rate coming up, yep. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Nice work. Oh, I forgot what I was gonna do here, skaters. All right, so we're gonna go into a speed skater with a fly. So we're just gonna skate back, open those arms. Span through that chest. Good, get a nice deep. Bend in those legs. Fly out those arms. Nice job. Keep going. Head upright. Whew. I'm huffing and puffing already. Good, we're at 30 seconds. Nice big stretch. Nice. One minute's a long time, yeah? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, here's your last exercise. Now we're gonna do a squat thrust and you're gonna jump your feet out you're gonna jump them in two times. You're gonna stand, and then on the third, you're gonna lower down into a negative push-up, so it'll be like a full burpee. All right, so modify if you need to. You can step back instead of jumping back. Entirely up to you. All right, so here we go. Out, one, two, stand. Now the next one, you're gonna lower and lift. One, two, stand. All the way down and up. Good. One, two, stand. Now all the way down, negative push up and up. You got it. One, two, stand. Out, lower your body and lift. One, two, stand. Out, lower, lift. Good work. One, 
to stand out lower one more all the way through one two stand and all the way down all the way up nice sit back in your child pose big inhale big exhale walk yourself up shake out those arms come into an arm circle forward and come into a back Good, grab those hands behind you, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift up, chin to the sky. Nice, bring your hands to the floor, curl your toes, hike into a down dog, press your tailbone to the sky, walk your hands to meet your toes, pull your body up, give me two knee hugs, one each side, and we're gonna get started. Nice job. All right, so here's what we got. Your first two exercises, one is going to be a cardio base and it's just going to be air squats. So air squats is reaching forward, pulling back, and it's kind of quick, all right? So you're gonna be doing that over six times, okay? And then you're gonna go into an Arnold curl and press. What that is is a curl, you're gonna rotate around and down, okay? I'm gonna go with 12s today. Typically I do 15s, but I did a strength workout yesterday, so I'm gonna lighten my load up a little bit today. So don't follow me in my weights. You do you, okay? You can always drop down at another time. All right, grab your weights that you're going to be using. Have them ready to go. We've got 40 seconds of work. Here we go. Squat. Sink down, rise up. Sink down, rise up. Keep that head and neck neutral. Breathe in and out. Out, in. Pull. So this is a repetitive sequence. Up, in. So those of you who like a lot of variety, this might not be your cup of tea, but you know what? Sometimes we have to break out of what we love and do some of the things that challenge us. That's where real change happens. Nice work. Awesome. All right, you've got 10 seconds. Grab your weights. We're going right into your Arnold curling presses, palm space forward. Five seconds. Three, two, three. One, here we go. Curl, rotate, and down. Now mind you, you're gonna be doing this a lot. So, you can have lighter weights ready for you. Do you need them? Out and in. Good. Awesome work. So in my opinion, during the holidays, I like to add a little more strength-based work than cardio. Good job. Hup. Awesome. And recover. Hey, now you've got 40 seconds before I show you the next move. You're going to go to four high knees, and you're going to tap. Then you're going to grab your weights, and you're going to go into a row and a reverse fly. All right? But you are starting with your squats and your Arnold presses. Here we go. Out, in. Good. Reach forward, pull back, reach forward, pull back. Weight in your heels. Breathe. So body weight work, it has significant um, value. Good, keep breathing. Up. In, out, 10 seconds, and you'll have an, another 10 seconds before you add your Arnold press. Four, three, two, one. All right, grab your weights for your Arnold press. We are going right into our Arnold presses. Then you'll have 10 seconds, you're gonna go to your four high knees. Here we go. Up, around. Now stay focused, range of motion, and the actual technique of the exercise is way more important than speed. Up. So you're working biceps here and shoulders. 20 seconds left. Then you'll have 10 seconds before we go into our four high knees with that tap down. Up. 10 more seconds. Good. Up. Out. And around. Last one.
down here. Nice work. Bring those weights down. You've got about 10 seconds, four high knees, one tap down. You can march this if you choose. Here we go. One, two, three, four, down. Up, two, three, four. Alternate the hand that you tap down. Nice work, come on. Wrap your head around all this, guys. You got 20 seconds left. Down, up, two, three, four. Down, 10 more seconds. It's actually 12, but who's counting, right? Come on. Nice work, last one. Awesome, grab your weights. You've got a row and a reverse fly. Going in three, two, one. Hinge down, row, fly. Row, fly. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Think about what you're doing. Now the row is a little bit easier for your body to handle. The fly, you might need to lighten your load. 20 seconds in, 20 to go. In, out. Out, 10 more seconds. Hmm. Yep. One more. Up. Weights down. Now you've got 20 seconds of recovery. So your next one is going to be a jack with a knee. All right? Right, just like that. Then you're going to come down into a tricep bridge on the floor. And then you're going to have to move fast through these. Whew, you've got about 10 seconds here. Starting with the air squats, going right into everything one after the other with that 10 second break. Five, four, three, two, one. Air squats. 40 seconds. So you're kind of getting the hang of this now, right? Good. So you got some dynamic duos put together, added to make a nice, strong, significant, full body workout. Out, in. Out. Gaze forward. Nice job. So I like me a nice snack workout every now and then. Don't like to do them all the time. They get a little monotonous, but they are a great way to really add a little wham bam to your workout. Nice work. Grab your weights. You're going into your Arnold curl with your rotational press. Three. Two, one, here we go, up and around. So if you are one of those people who has been following the workout, you're really familiar with these exercises. Good work, come on. They're all very straightforward. 20 seconds left. Yep, good. Stay focused here. Full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down, up. Good job, one more. Beautiful, awesome work. All right, you got 10 seconds before you go into your four high knees and tap, then you got your row and flies. We're going now, here we go. One, two, three, four, down. When you sit down and touch that floor, that head and neck should be neutral, sitting into that squat. Down, hop, 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 down. So as the weather gets colder, we gotta come up with alternate ways to get that heart rate up. If you're a walker or a runner outdoors, come on now. You got 10 seconds. Five seconds. You got one more. Down, awesome. All right, we're going into those rows and flies. Core strong, shoulders back. Here we go. Row, fly. Now, I probably typically would be using 15 here. But like I said, I'm opting for a little bit lighter today. Because yesterday was a strong strength day for me. So I have to practice what I preach. 
You don't want to go too heavy. Back to back. 20 seconds. <clears throat> Think about that squeeze in that back. <sighs> 10 seconds. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Beautiful. And recover. All right. So now you've got your jack with your knee. They're going to go right down to the floor to a bridge with a tricep. Here we go, one jab, power knee. So it's like a skip here. In, up, in, up. Now you make it what it is. All right, you wanna make it a little more intense. You really dig deep, bring that knee up and tall. Pump those arms, good. 20 seconds. Come on now. tricep bridge. Then you're going into a 20 second break. Here we go. Hips up. Tricep. Lower. Lift. Elbows face forward. Bend. Extend. Remember a tricep is an extension of your elbows. Yeah. I gotta see if I can see my timer here. Yeah. Bend. Lower your booty and up. Now if it's too hard to do both, just stay with the tricep here. Bend and lift. Come on now. Strong like bull. Mm, nice work. One more. Awesome work. All right, pull your body up. All right, so you're gonna have 20 seconds of recovery here. And we're gonna go right into a skater just like that, and then you're gonna go onto the floor and give me push-ups. All right, so we've got 10 more seconds here. Starting with our air squats in five, four, three, two, here we go. Starting from the top. So think about each exercise independent. Don't go and think about the next exercise until we get to recovery, until you have that 10 seconds. All right, so stay in the moment, think about what you're doing, push, pull, push, pull, booty back, weight in your heels, 20 seconds. So now you should be able to go a little bit faster. Legs are warm, arms are warm, come on. 10 seconds. Don't let your body go on autopilot, all right? Don't let it go on autopilot, beautiful, and recover. Grab your weights, arm will press. So your body thinks it knows everything, so it's just gonna go on autopilot. Keep your head in the game. Here we go. Curl, rotate. So we are the ones that tell our bodies what to do, not our bodies telling us what to do. All the way up and around. Now, if you're not feeling challenged, grab heavier weights. Good job. Out and around. Fifteen seconds. We're strong. Biceps and shoulders. Ten seconds left. Hope. Nice work. And recover right here. Ten seconds. Four high knees. One tap down. Row and fly. Your dynamic duos. Three, two, one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Go. Put something behind this. One, two, three. Let's go. Think about all that holiday activity. I went out to lunch three times this week. Tis the season. Come on. Two, one. Here we go. 
row. Now, anytime you need a break, stop and take it. Come on. Let's go. 25 seconds. Out. Squeeze. Squeeze. Upper back here, guys. 10 seconds. Nice work. 
Awesome, 10 seconds. I'm gonna grab a quick drink here. Then we go into my Arnold presses. All right, here we go. Up and down. Core strong. Now you should start to be feeling those biceps and your shoulders. Taking your time to get that full rotation. Good. This is a full Arnold press with a curl, okay? So this is how Arnold Schwarzenegger designed the exercise to be. Sometimes we just do the top portion with the rotation. This is adding the whole kit and caboodle so you get the bicep and the shoulder one more. Oh, all right. Four high knees and a tap down. Three, two, one, here we go. All right, now your body's starting to tighter. You have to tell your body, uh-uh, it's not time yet. You got all day to recover tomorrow. It's only a small part of your morning. Come on, maybe 4% of your day. Let's go. Out and in. 10 seconds. Keep going. Then you've got your rows and flies. And recover. Keep going. My timer disappeared on me. All right, grab your weights, you got four seconds here, rows and flies, here we go, row, fly, out, remember to keep your body in this uh, positioning where I don't want you lifting up when you do the rows, or flies I should say, good, 20 more seconds, Squeeze, squeeze. I'm gonna give you a side view. Squeeze out to the side, not behind you. I see this happening a lot. Don't go behind you. 10 seconds. If that's the only way you can go, maybe your weights need to be a little lighter. Oh, and recover. All right, a jack with a high knee, tricep bridge. Five seconds, three, two, one, here we go. Jack, skip, jack, skip, come on. Yeah. So we're getting those hip flexors and abs in the mix. But trust me, your core is, it's cooking today, come on. Let's go, power up. Here's 10 more seconds. And you have your tricep bridge, remember? 10 seconds. One more. Awesome. Meet me on the floor. You got your skaters and push ups on deck, body weight only. Here we go. Drop and bend and extend, booty down, booty up. So you're gonna get double dose here. You're gonna get some glutes, some core, some tricep. Compound moves. Multitasking. The more muscles engaged, the more our heart has to come in. All right, you're, two, let's see, 20 seconds. Do you feel your triceps? The answer should be yes. Maybe you're feeling your glutes. Now, if you're feeling your hammies, make sure your feet are close enough to your booty. I don't want you to fry out your hammies. One more right here. Oh, awesome. All right. Waist to the side. Speed skaters, 40 seconds. Then we're going into push-ups for 40 seconds. Here we go. Come on. Your head is up. Reach for that toe. Come on. Now, if you want to add some intensity here, grab your hand weights. Just because I'm not doesn't mean you can't, all right? You have to be in control of your workout. I can lead you through it, but you ultimately know
know where you want to be. Come on. 10 seconds. You'll never regret a workout. Let's go. Three, two, one. Push ups. All right, full body, or you can do it off of a bench. It's ever up to you. Here we go. Make sure those elbows are tracking behind you and not out to the side. All right, no shame in the mom's fighting game, but if you're gonna do them, that booty needs to be down. It cannot be up here. All right, we're gonna lower to the same exact move. Head neck is in neutral. 10 seconds to go. Come on. One more here. Oh. All right, stretch it out. Woo! All right, go right into mom climbers. Oh, yeah. Pin three, two, one. We all know what those are, right? Come on, run it out. Now, again, if you want to do this off of a bench, off of a chair, knock yourself out. That is a perfect way to modify. Remember, we do not have shame in modifying. 20 seconds, pull, jive, go. Chest press on deck. Have your weights ready, go. Come on, breathe. Go, pull, run, jab, breathe. Two, one, nice work. All right, I'm gonna grab my 15s here. Going into those chest presses. Do this, you get 20 seconds of rest. I'll show you your last sequence. Bridge or no bridge, elbows here, up, down. So remember, I don't want those arms directly out to the side. I want them slightly tipped down. Safer for your shoulders, and we really want to work those pecs. Come on, taking a gander at my timer here. She's still got about 30 seconds down and up. Chest is a large muscle group. It can handle heavier weights, so don't be afraid here. 20 seconds. If your hips are up in a glute bridge, squeeze your glutes. Push those hips up so that booty's not sagging. Who oh, wants a saggy booty? Come on. Five seconds here. Oh, down one more. Oh, yes. All right. Woo. All right, we're taking it from the top. Grab some water if you need to. And I'm going to show you your last sequence. All right, 10 seconds to go. Last sequence is a full-fledged burpee. All the way out, all the way down. You're up, in, and up. You can step back. You can take the push up out, whatever. Then you've got a forearm plank for a minute. Done. Done. D-O-N-E. All right, we're taking it from the top. Air squat. Start down. Go. Last time through. Now, this is it, guys. Closing night. You don't get another chance. So now you're going to unleash the beast, and everything's going to come. So maybe if you've been using lighter weights, maybe you can go heavier. Or maybe you've been using heavy weights the whole time and you're just saying, you know what? I can't. Come on here. 10 seconds, pick it up, go. Go. Remember though, don't compromise speed for form. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Bicep curls, I'm gonna go 15s this time. Remember like I said, you don't get another crack at this. Even though I'm sore, I'm gonna dig in here. Here we go. Curl. So yeah, as a fitness instructor and a trainer, I'm always telling you, never do the same body part back to back with heavy weights, okay? I don't have that luxury sometimes, but I do have the option of going lighter. So don't always track me or follow me. Tomorrow's gonna be a recovery day for me. Come on. Up. Good work. 15 seconds, all you have left. Up. Up. Hope. Do not 
regret going heavier or lighter. One more. Mm, yes, beautiful. All right, you're going into your four high knees with a tap down. Here we go. Pump your arms. One, two, three, four. March, two, three, four. Down. Seconds left. Come on. Yeah. I don't have to do the work. 
You do the work. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Come on guys, it's your last three, two, one. Oh. Woo! Shake it out. Mile climbers, last time through, chest press. Last time through, here we go. One, two, come on, unleash your beast. Go, 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 40 seconds, yes. Shoulder stabilizers, back, core, legs, heart. Neck in neutral. You need a break, take it. Come right back, come on. Yes, you can. 10 second warning, go. Faster, stronger, better, push, 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 push. Five, four, three, two, one, and done here. Woo, flip it over. Chest, press. Heavy weights, burpees, plank. Here we go. Do you hear me huffing and puffing? Hopefully you are too. We have the end in sight, you guys. Nice job, come on now. Woo! Keep going. My timer died on me again. Santa, I need a new timer. 10 seconds. Let's go, stay strong. Oh. So you already did chest. Three, two, one. Oh boy. All right, full fledged burpee. Starts, hold on now. I got an extra four seconds of recovery. Now go. Now, there's something I failed to tell you. For this workout today, we're adding on an extra 10, actually an extra 20 seconds. The last two are one minute. Come on. I probably didn't even need to tell you that. 20 seconds. Come on. 15 seconds. You do you. Whoo. Command go all the way down to the floor. Last one.
and then sit back. You're gonna feel a gentle pull coming from your shoulder all the way down into the hip, into the hip flexor. Stay low. Ooh, there is sweat pouring off of me. How about you? All right, let's do the same thing, other side. So let's take it to the other side. Reach that hand up and over, and then sit back. Again, keeping that forehead down. Heart rate should be awfully down, uh, down awfully quick now. There should be, your heart rate should be much, much uh, easier to breathe. One more breath. Back to center. Sit back. Nice work. Now you should be able to get deeper into your stretch. Now you should be able to feel those quads. Nice job. Okay, let's come into a kickstand here. Bring that heel up in front. Actually, just lean off the back into the front. So you're gonna feel this leg, you're gonna feel this, and a little bit into that inner thigh. Reach the arms out, pull them forward, interlace your hands, and then hinge off that front leg. Awesome. How do you feel? It wasn't so bad, right? Good, pull it up. Good, squeeze the shoulder blades back, pull the elbows uh, back and squeeze that shoulder. Give me a stretch to the left, a stretch to the right. Nice, we're gonna reach that hand of the inside foot to the floor, gonna give me a nice triangle here. Reach that arm back, pull, feel the expansion. Don't rush for your stretches. Your gaze should be towards that hand. Beautiful, bring that hand down, bring your body up, shift your weight. Now I want you to hover over this leg. Grab your toe, give it a gentle tug, so you'll feel a little more stretch coming up that back leg into your hamstring and glute. Nice work, come on up. Now, keeping this foot here, I want you to take that leg behind you and pull it up. Now you may need to have to stand to do this or have your towel wrap it around your ankle and pull it up. So we're just stretching through that quad now. Opposite leg here. One more breath. Beautiful. All right, now let's just switch legs. Step the other leg in. Push off. Tuck the tailbone so that you're really feeling that back leg engage and that front and that groin. Reach it out. Pull it forward. Interlace and press. Good, now push off the front, bring those arms up, and slightly pitch your body back. You got it. Now release those fingers, pull them lightly right behind your ear. Let's pull it in, and then open and slightly elevate the chin. Pull it in, and open, good, and one more here. And let's take it to an expansion here. Slightly bring it down, chin goes to the sky. Feel the stretch, yes. Beautiful, sit back into that leg, so hovering over that front leg. Good. I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse me. All right, pull it back. Tis the season to sneeze. Oh, this feels good. See if you feel tighter from one leg to the other. Here goes the other quad. Sometimes it helps to bring this foot in a little closer. Pull that leg back, slightly tuck that tailbone. See if you feel a little deeper stretch here. Couple of inhales, couple of exhales. Nice. All right, lower that foot, bring your hands on either side of that front foot. Curl this back toe, stand into a forward fold. Reach to the back of your heel. So now you're gonna feel that hip flexor and that side rotate, take it to the other side. Grab both of your elbows and hang with the crown of your head, pull you down. Concentrating on the stretch on the back of the legs. And now you're gonna bring your body up halfway, let go of the arms. Let's go into some alternating circles. Yes, we're spending a little few extra times here stretching because your body deserves it. Four, three, two, one. Let your body come up the rest of the way. Shrug the shoulders to your ear, retract them back. Again, shrug them to your ear, retract them back. One more. We're gonna reverse this a little bit faster. Roll it forward, three, two, and one. Just go into a quick bicep stretch here. And then the other side. Here comes your ginormous inhale. I feel sweat coming everywhere. Down and up. Truth be told, this was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. 
I was kind of dreading it just a tiny bit, but that is actually good when you dread something, all right? Because sometimes it turns out to be not so bad, which it was in my case. So hope it wasn't so bad for you. Hope you enjoyed every aspect of it. Embrace it. Your workout is done. Have a great day. I will see you on the next workout. Ho, ho, ho.